Hi, I'm Jeff, the Firewood Doctor. Thank you for stopping in and watching this video. It's the first time here, and thank you for coming back if you've frequented my channel in the past or visited. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the things I love, eh, kind of that, eh, uh, and hate about my Wolfridge 28C. There's only one really hate thing on this, and we'll, it, and it's an irritating thing. Uh, 115 hours, 115 point something. I went a, a, about five hours over on the to get to the second oil change because I had to get certain things split, and I had to get a funnel to do it. And I'll get more into that details on in the ugly part, the good, the bad, the ugly. So, all right, let's uh, do a little walk around and what I think is the good, the bad, the ugly. Then we'll get to splitting a little bundle wood, and bundle wood and show you how that works. And then I'll take you, okay. And then we'll split some bundle wood and show you how good it works for that with the four-way wedge. Back to the subject at hand. The Wolfridge Pro 28C, now I think they're calling it the 28C Magnum to eliminate confusion with the Pro 28 Pro. So there's a lot of name confusion lately and people have gotten it mixed up for quite a while and so have I, you know. But the way I outfitted this one when I ordered it over two years ago in April, they did not yet have the oil cooler available. That came out like a, a month or so after I ordered it. So I had that added. Then he decided to add the 12-way wedge. I got it with the Magnum package, which is the faster cycle time, uh, six and a half seconds instead of eight and a half seconds eight eight and a half something like that then i got the auto cycle on there which are these valves it's, you can use this lever to go forwards or but no you can use this lever to go forwards or backwards i got it mixed up i didn't even i'm and i was looking right at the sticker so you can manually operate it with this lever or hit both and then when uh, this one trips this one retracts automatically hence the auto cycle the oil cooler and you wonder why I have this switch rigged up the sensor failed and I just didn't want to go through the hassle of replacing the sensor so I just pulled the wires out Un and there, it's just a blade type connector so it's just a plug and play got a marine grade switch plug it in fan works uh, 22 25 gallon uh, hydraulic tank I haven't had to add anything to it I might have to add a, a gallon or two because when it extends it drops down to the low and one splint job I had a hitting 180 because of the oil cooler wasn't working at the time I have since remedied that but a five or ten minutes idle brought it back down to 140 so yeah it otherwise uh, when the thermostat's working it keeps it down into that 130 degree range and one thing I like is how heavy-duty and beefy this hydraulic pump is cast iron concentric pump 22 gallon per minute uh, Honda GX 390 engine now, you look up online it's it's a 13 horse engine but some say it's like 11 8 or some weird uh, oddball number but it's 13 horse and I got it with electric start. That was optional at the time. Now that's standard. 
same with autocycle and the magnum pack autocycle and magnum package i think are standard electric start might not be i have to double check but yeah that's how this is configured the log lift this is the one feature I cannot live without is a log lift. I will never go without a log lift on any splitter again. This is the biggest back saver and time saver you can have. Another time saver is the auto cycle. That's a really nice feature when you can have, you have to have an old truck like mine. It's ancient, 2002, to get it to a point where you can have this up just above the tailgate this is before I put weight in and once I get a few hundred pounds it's gonna sink below the level of the table so you can just push it right into the truck that'll save time or you have to have a conveyor or better yet a utility beefy utility trailer working in conjunction with the outfeed table extension act as grizzly bars and just shove it right into the trailer that might be next on the on the list of things to get
four-way wedge. Most of it was four-way split. Some of it I could have used uh, six-way. Even at that, only a piece or two would have needed a uh, re-split after that. So, yeah, it's uh, probably a good idea to, if you're going to do bundle wood, separate your wood between uh, single and four-way wedge size wood in one pile, six-way and re-splits uh, into pieces that are too big that are going to need re-splits into another pile. That's what I recommend. Uh, yeah, overall I'm quite pleased with the performance of my Wolf Ridge Pro 28C. The only thing that failed was the oil hydraulic oil temp sensor. Otherwise it's been absolutely flawless. Minor adjustments on the auto cycle. Other than that, it's been perfect. They build a heck of a machine. Uh, can't say enough about it. But there's one thing that could be fixed. It, it would take a total re-engineering thing. That was the oil fill thing that I mentioned. Uh, I don't know why, but that's the only bad flaw in there. So. But my biggest gripe on this machine, and it's not much of a gripe, which I'll get to in a minute. But due to 21 years of driving truck, it's a little harder for me to get up after getting down to drain the oil. I That, that oil is spilled from uh, refilling because I didn't have the right funnel available and none were available in town to uh, make the job easier and mess free so I spilled a bunch it's on wood chips I'll get that cleaned up but yeah that I can get down here to change it to drain it but my body doesn't like me to get back up too well and then I need a special offset funnel or one with a flexible hose to get that even at that, my back doesn't like uh, bending over much to, you know, hold the funnel in place. Even if it's up to here, I'm still bending over, you know, at a pretty good angle for me. But, you know, it's all from the 21 years of driving truck. My back is uh, weak, so I've been battling uh, rehabbing that since I started firewood. So, all right, let's wrap this one up.